Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kairos Designs. So today we are going to design a very simple and nice boutique or, or clothing flyer. Okay. Um, you can use this flyer for, I mean, a boutique service, anybody who sells clothes, watches, perfumes, and other stuff. Okay. So let's get moving and kindly hit the subscribe button, like this video for me, comment on this video let me know your reviews and what you think and what you also think i can add to this video and can you share the video to other graphic designers who you think will like this video so let's get started so let's let's open our photoshop so first let me show you a preview of what you are going to do so this is exactly what you are coming to do exactly what we are come to do so we are coming to do the exact thing the exact thing let's get started so let's create our new file mostly i prefer 1080 by 1080 and then 300 pixels and then let's create our file okay so first let's uh, go on and then import our our pictures okay let's and then import them. So let's take this one first. Size a little bit. Let's put it there. Let's import there. So let's select a lot to make things faster and easier for us. Sometimes too, that can be a little bit confusing when you have all pictures together. Uh, arrangement becomes very difficult. So, let's just minimize that. Minimize that also. So, let's just add some of them. And then put our pen to then it's time to do our magic it's here then you press and hold your left click and you leave it then you click here still holding your left click you shift it up small then you leave it then you come down here you click here you click here and you click here and then you go and click on shape and so it's already a shape so sometimes if it doesn't come as a shape you just have to the shape will appear yes you just have to click shape but mine is already a shape so i'm just going to um give it a better yeah, feel of height and then we'll move the What is happening? The field didn't work. So, you know, remove the strip. Send it to the back. Just send it to the back. So if you want to send it to the back as a beginner, let me just assume you're a beginner. You just click and hold, then you bring it down somewhere. So just bring everything down then you just leave it in between wherever you want to leave it okay so uh, there we go so let's give our background a color okay um let's 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 take the ingredients for that let's make it radial radial just make it a circle 
then the blues, blue. Gives me kind of exactly what I want. So this is exactly what I want. Let's bring our light in here. Size. Make it a linear pen. light in the meantime and we will just bring in our slippers our slippers It's our whole PNG in one, one uh, in one. Let's group them. So you click on the first one, then you leave it. Then you come to wherever you want to end. Then you click your shift key. Then you click on it to select everything. Then click and hold everything and then come to this file over here to keep them make everything easy. So if I want to minimize it, I'll just put the control button and then I'll leave it and then I'll just minimize this. Yeah then there we go. Okay, so guys to save time i typed all these somewhere okay so i just brought them in so basically you can just type all these and then you just bullet them uh, if you want to find the bullets you come to a um, window and this and you can find you can find it in here you can find the dots in here you just go down find it okay, so that's it around here and just choose any of them to make your bullet okay so just type your resell and then draw your rectangle then you just um, reduce the curves by using this side of you and just click and shift it either left or right to reduce the curve to the rectangle for you then you just type our shop quality goods from us you type everything so right now let's just import our logo in here let's check let's check on the file and see where it goes in so far so it got in so far i think we're making progress so let's just import our, our logo so that's our logo let's just import it. and then i made the logo okay the logo was made by me the players was made by me the person was starting the business so i made the logo and the player for the person Let's cut this and bring it to the side. Do that by using the lasso tool. Okay? Then you rasterize your layer. Then you click here. Click here. You just make sure it doesn't touch the main loop. Click here. Click. 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 And after that, you, you press. Control X at stand control plane to paste it in, and that is it over here. So you just click on your move and you bring it in. Let's check. Okay, so yeah. Let's 
So let's just bring in our contacts down to I'm just going to import them because I've already typed them somewhere too. Okay, so yeah, so I just typed um, the contacts over here and then I got this also from PNG Wink. You can just type what's up, the logo will come, you can just import and bring it inside. Then you type your Richie, that's their Instagram handle. Yeah, so the handles. I just imported the logos in there. I'm sure you know how to import um, social media logos. Okay, so basically, it's just stuff with me making the file look nice. Okay, so so I just brought in my uh, my little bit shiny um, light effects uh, background. You can also get that on, on Google. You can just type light effects background. Yeah. So we'll just make it look a little bit enhanced. Then I also brought in my paper, my paper um, background, wrinkled paper background, and also that. So this is where we have super so and super so good. Just love this. So since this is an already made logo, I could have just typed, but I just want to cut uh, the, the words out again, okay, from this Richie collection. I just use my lasso tool, and I'll just click here, click here, click here, click there, then Ctrl X, then Ctrl B, paste it again. So that's it over here. We just use our move tool, then I move to Ctrl T to transform, and you can move it. We okay. okay, have it over there. You can leave it like this. It's not bad. I'm just using the arrow to see what it is. That's our logo. So right now, let's check the progress. So this is what we have so far. And then these are just circles, okay. You can just draw smaller, smaller circles. And then let's bring in our, uh, our line. Let's just make it straight. Let's make it straight. Let's Shop now, so let me just pause my shop now. Okay, guys, so I just brought in my shop now. So basically, let me show you how I did it. So you can just draw your rectangle, you just find your rectangle over here. Like this is running a little bit, then you just draw it, then you use the sides over here, then you just type in shop now basically yeah and then and then this is my cut i got this from pngwing.com so you can just bring it inside so you can just go to pngwing and it search for cuts so it will come and then how to how you can do this i can get this um kept area so you can basically just draw this let me let me change the color to make it oh where is it make it more Just rasterize this. Then you use you use our lasso to then uh, just cut it out. And just to get this this shape over here. Okay. So you can just use the overlay here. Overlay. And then you just change the color to uh, that is up. So let me just delete it. 
So basically we are close up, yeah. So the circles over here, they are just normal circles that you can import. So basically we are done. So this is how you can, uh, this is how you can des uh, you design uh, a flyer key or maybe your clients. Let me just impose my surfaces. surfaces. Let's <laughs> go.